Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer. I was invited by System76 to write a guest post about how I produce my videos, and well, it got a little long. So I decided I'd break it up a little bit and talk about the process of making videos in the blog, and then talk about the equipment I use here on the channel. First things first, my Patreon contributors are the number one reason I've been able to get the equipment to do this channel, and I want to express my deepest gratitude. Thank you guys, you make this possible. I have a lot of equipment that I use to make my videos, and let's start with the audio equipment. I have a CAD brand GXL2200 XLR condenser microphone that I use to record my voiceovers with. This microphone connects to my office PC through a Yamaha MX10 10 channel USB mixing board. The mixing board serves many purposes. First, it gets the microphone's audio into the computer over USB, but it also serves to manage the volume of the computer, usually the games, and the monitoring of the mic through the headphones. This is important to me as the audio controls are right there on my desktop, foregoing the need to adjust the computer's volume in software. Last but certainly not least is the Tascam DR40 linear PCM recorder. The Tascam is used primarily to pick up ambient sounds without a lot of background noise. This includes my live action videos, the dialogue and skits, or to pick up foley that would otherwise be missing or drowned out by the terrible on-camera microphone. No list of equipment would be complete without the software I use as well. For audio editing, I use Ocean Audio. It's a free, as in beer, audio editor that is quite powerful. Ocean Audio has more features than I need and has a workflow that I'm really familiar with at this point. Now onto the video side of things. What do I use to capture my footage? I've heard a lot of people ask this question and most people assume that I use software to do it, but that's generally not the case. I usually use an Avermedia Live Gamer Portable to capture gameplay footage. It's kind of a piece of crap, honestly. It only records to SD since Avermedia doesn't have a Linux compatible client, and the footage it outputs is in .ts format, which I then have to remux into MP4 format before I can edit it. Not a big deal, but it does take a lot of time. However, when I do use software to capture footage, I use OBS. OBS is an awesome broadcasting software solution that has decently low CPU overhead. The way I've mitigated any performance loss, though, is that I bought an XI100D HDMI to USB 3 adapter. What this does is allows me to take footage from one computer, say my Steam machine, and pipe it into my laptop. OBS on my laptop then sees the Steam machine's display appear as a video for Linux device. I then pick up that feed in OBS, and all the compositing and rendering is handled on a dedicated second rig. In terms of doing live action stuff, I use a Nikon D5200 DSLR camera. This works well for all aspects of live video capture, though I'm still learning how to use it. It has an 18 to 55 mm lens, and it came with a bunch of lens filters, including a circular polarizer, which is one of the greatest things ever invented. When I want to edit my videos, Caden Live is my only choice. It's exceptionally powerful, extremely flexible, and though it's somewhat unstable, Caden Live and I have come to a mutual understanding. So that's just about all the equipment that I use to make my videos. If you want to see the full write-up and read about how I do my audio and video editing, check out the link in the description below to System76's blog. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's good. In terms of recording live action stuff, I use a Nikon D5300. Oh, it's a 5200. I've been saying 5300 this whole time.